So our next thing we're gonna create. Make sure I'm gonna close it because I don't need it to be open right now. We're gonna create a simple uh, math, a vector 2D and through 3D. So still trying to think what in heck I'm gonna name it right now. I'm gonna name it Math Core since that's our core stuff. We may put more stuff in the future in vectors. So so right now I'm gonna name it Math Core for a header file. And make sure you put it here. Properties, not properties. What did I do? Wait, what? I didn't even call it. Okay, so then we want to include our header file. And math core. Call it if and def. Make sure it's if and def. Because seriously, that kind of sucked earlier. Can't believe I forgot the if and that. Can't believe I forgot that. So class, we can create our vector two first. You call it vector two D or not? I don't know. I'm gonna just name it vector two. We can uh, public function. We can uh, have our vector two, which we can uh, have a float of x, float of y. We're gonna have another constructor. We got two different constructors. One will just initialize to zero, another one that will init that we, if we want to set it or something. Our private functions is gonna be vector, not vector, a flow mx and a flow my. That's gonna be a simple class. We can create our another class for vector three. It's gonna be simple, the same thing. Just with a Z now. Okay, Titan today. So I'm gonna just copy everything here. Because it's similar and exactly like it. Just make sure it's a vector three and not a two. And you want to float underscore Z and or float M underscore Z for vector three. You, you may create getter functions and setter. So if you want to do it right now, go ahead. I may do it later on. So I'll include a math core. And you're going to create a vector 2. And you just make your x, the y, and the z. Oh no, there's no z in here equals zero the other constructor that we created is mx equals underscore x m y equals underscore y Our, so make sure this is our next one. We don't we don't want to confuse it with anything else. It's just a separator line that detects that this is a vector three now. Vector three. Vector three. Which is going to be similar to this. Just with the Z component I hear too. And it's gonna contain this one too. Well I make sure it's a vector three. This contain the other flow underscore Z. Oh M Z equals underscore Z. Hold on, let me get some water real quick. Man, I love water. I mean, I created some blocks before in my in my in my channel where I say I'm like an I'm on a diet. So 
I've been drinking a lot of water lately, so that's awesome. I love cold water. Cold water is really good. I I don't like the like the warm water. It's, I don't know. I just don't like it at all. I don't know. You, do you guys like warm water? I don't know. So basically, that's our simple 2D vector classes that we kind of need because we kind of need them. Yeah. Uh. So that's our simple. So now the next classes that we can create. Make sure it runs though. No, make sure construction not allowed to return type. A return type. What do you mean a return type? I'm not returning anything. I'm not returning anything. Wait, what? Ah, uh, see guys, this is what I mean. Please create a freaking semicolon. I hate creating these header classes sometimes. Sometimes it takes me forever to find this. Like seriously. Damn it, man. Apologize for the language, but I get pissed off every time I do that mistake. But anyways, yeah, everything works. So our next class that we can create. Oh, you know what? There's other classes we can need. You know what? We can create our rectangle classes. Our rectangle. We you know when it comes to D to D, you have a rectangle or whatever. So we're gonna create a rectangle. This is gonna be a funny way to um, rename a rectangle because our Visual Studio or somewhere in the in here already includes a rectangle for some reason. So what I do is just make a capital T. I know it's weird, but I know it's weird, guys. I know it's weird. I'm a weirdo. And make sure you create a source file for it. I wasn't even thinking of doing that, but we can need that for our, for our um, sprite badge. So make sure you have that because we gonna need it. We gonna need it in the future. So go into your header file. If in def. Define rectangle. And if, make sure you spell it correctly. And you can hit class rectangle. You can have our constructor or make sure you create a public rectangle. And a rectangle, another constructor that will initialize our values. So our float underscore left flow underscore right flow underscore width and flow underscore height we can have a destructor and this guy needs to be alone because uh, it's kind of sad today I know it's a space below the other ones but it's kind of sad today so Create our private functions. Gonna have float m left, float m right, float m top, float m bottom, float m height. Not, I mean width. And float m height. So we were. That's what we can have in there. If save that real quick and then go to your CPP file. Make sure everything works because seriously. Thank you, Lord. Rectangle. Make sure you M and left, 
m right m top m bottom f top bottom with m height equals zero I spell that wrong the rectangle are next I might kind of we hate rewriting this entire thing so let's copy that it's so much easier to do that why being so mean to me today happens when you can't type Okay, so what we're gonna do is that on left equals underscore left. You guys know what's gonna happen here. Right equals the right one is gonna equal the width because that's actually the right side of it. So top or another thing that you can do sometimes to make sure. Wait, hold on. Because initially that's not correct. It's always the left side plus the width. Yes, that is correct, isn't it? I'm trying to think right now. Well, initially, yes. Initially, yes. Well, you know, I kind of messed up here. It shouldn't have been right, it should have been the top side. Make sure you go back in here and reset it. You don't want to get confused. So left and top. Initially, yes, you will want to create M left plus width because that actually is the rectangle of it. You know, it's not just width. If, if something goes wrong later, then pretty sure that's the reason. But in my head, that works fine. And if, you, if I'm correctly wrong, just let me know in the comments or something. But like you know, you're you're dumb. That's not the right way to do it. All right, guys. All right. So we can clear our width equals underscore width, and our height to equal underscore height, and that's it for our rectangle. Yay! Oh, well, I actually want to also create like um getter function for these. So let's do that real quick. Float get left. Float get right. Float get top. Float get bottom. Low get width flow get height that's a lot of getter functions the only reason you can do it because we can need it so make sure you do that make sure you copy this where you can need no it's just this mm. Do that real quick. You see that little trick I did? Pretty awesome, right? Pretty awesome. Right, we can fix that later. Let's just finish this stuff real quick. Don't cry on me, baby. Don't cry on me today. No wanna cry today. Don't wanna cry today. Don't cry on me today. No simple return M top return M bottom. and return m height so 
from here on make sure it belts correctly rectangle width oh I forgot that how can I skip that one how can I skip that one tell me I have no idea how to skip that one make sure it belts guys and if it does we will continue to next to our sprite badge